All right, hello and welcome to a demonstration of Finding Under Noise, which is our uh, interactive generative art piece by yep. Hubbub Studios. My name is Ruben. And my name is Braden. And uh, Martin can't be here today, but uh, we'll let him know that we've done this eventually. Sure. Yeah. So in this um, demonstration, we'll let, uh, we're just going to tell you on about how it um, how it works essentially and um, our concept behind it and why we were interested in the um, interactivity of sound input from ambient sounds. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as you can see on the screen, you've got a whole bunch of these little circles floating around and reacting to the sound, which is uh, basically um, we've used a fast Fourier transform to understand the different frequencies and uh, the level at which those frequencies are at at any given time. So it's calculating a range, um, so an average of, um, of a frequency range, basically. That's how yep, it works. and uh, then getting those values and making them into lines around in a circular formation. And uh, those cir circular formations kind of just bounce around the screen and if you get loud enough, they kind of all move. come to one. <laughs> yeah, which is a gravity effect. If you want to talk about. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So um, we've got a bit, a bit of just basic physics in there. So as the as they move around the screen, they kind of slow down, um, which is a bit of air resistance type um, function, I suppose you could call it. But once you get up to this state where it goes all crazy, they actually start to congregate in the middle of the screen, in the center. And um, yeah, so that's at that point. But if you kind of keep silent for a while, they kind of just slowly explode. Ooh. That's very sensitive. There we go. There we go. Ah. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Ah, beautiful colors as um, well. And Ruben, you spent a long time on the calibration of this, uh, <laughs> of this finding under noise. If you'll let us know. Yeah. So happened. the calibration was basically an attempt to um, just have it work whenever, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of people around sometimes, or there's going to be hardly anyone around. So it kind of calibrates the sensitivity of everything based on the just general noise um, of the environment at the time. So it kind of continually updates on um, what the average noise level has been in the past 10 seconds. Yep, so stopwatch timer. Yeah. Um, using uh, <coughs> millis. Millis, yes. And processing. Good old millis. Yeah. Um, and we've also, if you, if you can see there, uh, we've got a particle system. Um, and you can slightly see a bunch of lines swiggling around, um, which is called an L system. And mm -hmm. basically it's a, an algorithm that goes through a set of instructions to tell uh, processing where a line to draw uh, from a point. Yeah, I wonder if you can see the lines at some point. There we go. You can just faintly see those lines are all these circles are in the way and so the basically the particles go to a position or a point on the um, our system yeah just uh, where the branches join they um, that's where the little particles are formed and then they just float away mm. from there it's like a it's like a tree or something with I don't know leaves or something flying away so I think now we should talk about the concept yeah yeah so um, originally the um, idea that sparked this was um, sort of just experimenting with how we can manipulate something with sound and sounds an interesting um, form of interactivity because um, as opposed to the commonly used uh, motion detection with like a webcam or a connect sensor. Mm. Yeah, so it's a, it's a new um, uh, 
it, it's it's like how can I be experimenting with the sounds I make? Can I use my voice? Can I make a clap? Now how is that going to affect? It's going to affect it quite a lot. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that was uh, what fascinated me in the first place, mm, mm. especially with clapping. Um, it's quite a uh, you can cover quite a broad range of frequencies with that as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, I really liked um, early on in the process we kind of looked at clapping and it was kind of funny how, you know, if they came up to our work and they started clapping, it's like they were yeah. like they were applauding us or something. That was quite funny, I thought. Yeah, and so that's where it all started with uh, just ex making a few mock-ups of, mm. um, of clapping and progressing a stop motion film uh, that we're working on with a studio project Yeah, um, as a part of our Finding Under Noise storytelling. Yeah, so this is all just part of a bigger story and uh, that's been exciting to work with, um, so, the whole transmedia yeah. element of it. So the, this is about the afterlife of our character noise um, or our visual interpretation of what noise, what we think noise uh, would look like if mm. for it were a visual thing. He's had this prosthetic yeah. forced onto him, hasn't he? And um, yep. well, he or she, whatever. Um, it, um, and this prosthetic has kind of confined it into this little ball of order and um, trying to make force beauty or... or yeah. So know, our character like, noise in our stop motion film um, is trying to prove its beauty to us as the audience and it resorts to using a prosthetic, mm. like a, a black coating that structures it to mm. um, appear to be linear or um, yeah, yeah. even in a way. Or, uh, trying to create or, order out of yeah. chaos. And then it finds that it doesn't enjoy the, the freedom uh, or in, in it's missing the freedom that it had yeah, when yeah. it was uh, noisy. And so it strips itself from um, from this prosthetic. It's kind of like a straight jacket, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kind of um, took it off. And so, yeah, this is about away. noise expressing its... Um, noisiness. Noisiness or its beauty. It's chaos, its beauty, yeah. Um, and so it's, it's more about the interactivity makes it an important um, part of this because it's about us discovering the beauty of noise. Mm, mm. Um, so that's, yeah, that's our... Yeah, and that's where that's the theme it. comes in. Uh, sorry, the title comes into it, you know, mm. finding... Under noise, it's like finding, you know, what what is noise? What exploring the layers and what what, yeah, what you the can layers find between it. that, yeah. What you can pick out and the randomness of it as well. So yeah, and, and and also as an anagram, it spells fun. So <laughs> yeah, so so it's good. Uh, so yeah, that's our just an explanation of how things work um, behind the scenes of the program. So uh, just to let you know, if you don't already, this will be shown in the AOTA Centre in Auckland City between the dates of the 18th of December and the 19th of February. So two months. Yeah. All right. So uh, thanks for watching Thank and you. listening. I've been Ruben. And Braden. And Martin is also uh, in the team. And that's us. Thank you very much. Goodbye.